Well, welcome to my tiny house. Uh, my name is Bill Brooks, and I've been working on this thing for just over a year now. And uh, this is a result of what I got. Uh, this was based on uh, what Michael Jansen had for his uh, on his website, the eight by sixteen tiny solar house. Okay. And it's uh, pretty similar to what he had. I've made a few changes and updates to it, but uh, for the most part, it is. Uh, basically, I started out with a uh, Big Tex trailer. Okay. It's a 10,000 pound gross weight trailer. And uh, I went for that because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of extra capacity for the trailer and anything else that's in it. And uh, sometimes people seem to go for these, the 7,000 pound or 5,000 pound trailers and it's like, okay, so you get it just under that weight, you're just going to make it wear out faster. So I went for the heavier trailer. Uh, basically use 2x4 construction and uh, regular T11 on the outside with some trim around it and stuff like that. The roof is made of Ondura, which is a kind of a asphalt type stuff. It looks very similar to, uh, it looks very similar to the uh, corrugated metal, except it's kind of an asphalt stuff. So for one thing, it's a lot quieter than, yeah. <laughs> than the metal, not shiny and stuff like that. Uh, out front here, started out with one thing that Michael doesn't have on his design is a, really a storage place for propane and electricity. So on mine, I built this storage unit out front. This side has the propane, the other side has the batteries. And across the front here, in the plug-in so I can get shore power and that was just simply just putting in the uh, see this is a 40 amp for the converter so it'll, it'll handle most most of the settings that, that I need and so anytime I get a chance that I can plug in all I have to do is just run the cable in plug it in and the inverter will automatically go to shore power Batteries aren't hooked up yet, other than just one to keep it powered up. But eventually, plan to have like four in there. That makes sense. These are uh, marine batteries. They're 220 amp each, and I got two of them, and I'll get two more eventually. So that'll be a little over 800 amps. Okay. So that should give me power for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Going around this side here my outside drain for the water. Looks like you've got water running already. Got, got water in there. I got uh, water with chlorine in there to make sure the tanks are disinfected. Two fill-ups for the tanks. Uh, it's hard to see when you're there, but uh, these are the main solar parts for the house, the three large windows. They're uh, 32 by uh, 72 okay. each. Wow. So, <laughs> you have lots, a lot of glass. Lots yeah. of glass exposed. They're the uh, low EV type glass. So, they'll keep some of the sun and stuff out, but at the same time, they'll let the heat in. So. And it will get warm, especially in the summer. Yeah. It's facing here because it's facing south, and during the afternoon, all day, you get south, and then you get the west sun in the evening, and it will really warm it up. Okay. And around the back here, one thing about the Tex trailer here, this Model 10 CC, is it has ramps that you pull out. Oh, okay. And so the idea that I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the ramps and I will make a little porch that can just sit on the top. Of oh, that's a great idea. That way yeah. I don't have to carry that around most of the time. I can just put that, take that off, put it in the truck to store it with. When I get to where I'm going, I can put out the patio. That's great. So I didn't you, use up any extra you don't space. Waste any, yeah, real estate inside, <laughs> inside like yeah. so many of them do. This is the uh, direct vent for the heater. Okay. This is uh, again direct vent heater, so means it gets the air from directly from the outside, doesn't use any air on the inside. Oh, okay. Propane powered, um, and so it's safe to leave it on all the time if you needed to. Have a total of uh, three, four, five, six windows in 
in the uh, trailer. There's none on the uh, other side here, which would, if you parked it, probably be like your north or east side. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to face it so that you get south, southwest on the windows and let the sun in, keep it heated. Uh, we had the three, uh, the regular 2x4 for the uh, construction, and the insulation I used is the regular styrofoam okay. insulation. It has three and a half inches in there, so it should be like R15, R16, somewhere around there equivalent. Okay, great. Used, used that, it went, that way I didn't have to worry about uh, the fiberglass getting wet or anything else, getting moldy, stuff like that. It's the regular styrofoam insulation, so and by using that also kind of creates an automatic uh, vapor barrier. <laughs> right. So, regular metal door with the locks and stuff. And...